Our study is entitled Cartilage Biopsy for Autologous Cell-Based Repair of the Knee in the Wide Awake Setting Using Needle Arthroscopy. Authors include Ian Savage-Elliott, Matthew T. Kingery, Mohamed Azam, Dylan Lowe, and Eric Strauss. These are our disclosures. The patient is a 33-year-old male with a history of a patella dislocation at age 16. He was treated with open reduction internal fixation at that time of an osteochondral fracture. Since that point, he's had continued anterior knee pain, recurrent effusions, and a positive movie theater sign. On exam, he's of normal BMI, has a mild effusion of the left knee as well as tenderness along the patellofemoral joint. He has pain and tightness anterior medially and on end flexion. He has a positive J sign with increased deviation of the patella with lateral stress. Radiographs are significant for evidence of a previous osteochondral fracture treated with a screw, as well as minimal arthritis. MRI was partially obscured by metal artifact. However, there is some evidence of a possible trochlear base osteochondral defect, as well as patella translation and patella tilt. Given these findings, he was indicated for a diagnostic arthroscopy and cartilage biopsy using needle arthroscopy, followed by a patella stabilization procedure and autologous chondrocyte implantation. Here we demonstrate our technique for needle arthroscopy assisted autologous chondrocyte harvesting in preparation for a second stage autologous chondrocyte implantation procedure. After infiltration of local anesthetic, the 1.9 millimeter blunt trocar and the needle arthroscopy camera are then atraumatically inserted while confirming that there is no discomfort with the patient. The inflow system is hooked up and set to 35 millimeters of mercury and a diagnostic arthroscopy can then be performed. Note that the patient is awake during this time. A full thickness cartilage lesion can be seen about the trochlea for which the patient is indicated for autologous chondrocyte implantation. Care is taken to be as atraumatic as possible and communication is maintained with the patient throughout the procedure. Once the diagnostic arthroscopy has been completed, the anterior medial portal can be created. Local anesthetic is again infiltrated. An 11 blade is used to nick the skin, roughly two millimeters in length. This can be done under direct visualization. The capsule is also cut in a similar fashion. Straight hemostat is used to widen the incision. At this point, attention can be turned to the intercondylar notch. Palpation is done to confirm the patient is not having any pain. And a two millimeter nano elevator is used to harvest full thickness chondrocytes which are retrieved via two millimeter grasper. Multiple passes of the elevator can be used to ensure an adequate tissue harvest. If the surgeon wishes, an 18 millimeter spinal needle can be used as an outflow technique. Communication is also maintained with the patient throughout the procedure to confirm an absence of discomfort. Once the harvest has been taken, the procedure is completed and an adequate tissue harvest has been obtained.